We about to react to the Savage Life Tank, real street music, by the thumbnail, you already know. If you know what the thumbnail look like, then you know why I clicked this shit. <laughs> That's the thumbnail right there. Motherfucker smoking crack. That's crazy. I'd be scared to be around that shit. Catch a fucking contact. This be hard as hell. Look, all right, so this is my opinion on this song, and I said this before, so I'm going to say it again. I feel like the song should have been longer, but the reason why I say that is because I feel like Savage Life Tank should do a remix and call it This That Real Flint Music. I done said this before on Facebook, and it got a lot of shares, so I'm going to say it in the video. This song... She get a remix and call it This That Real Flint Music. That's how the hook should be. This That Real Flint Music. And have a whole bunch of Flint rappers. Like, each rapper get like eight bars or do multiple remixes. Do one with three Flint rappers and do another one with three more Flint rappers and just keep this shit going like a series. You know what I'm saying? Like, remix part one, part two, part three, part four. Until damn near the whole Flint rap scene got a verse on this same song. Because... This shit was hard, but I feel like it could have been longer. I feel like it could have had a more I feel like it could have had more of an impact because I believe it got like twelve thousand views and it been out a year or uh, some something like that, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like it would have been bigger and I feel like it still got legs to grow and be a bigger song than what it is. And I feel like making it a longer song and just giving it more legs to grow, a.k.a. more people on it from Flint, it'll just be a bigger song, and it'll help the city out. I feel like it'll only do nothing but great things, like helping the city out, put Zeke on it, put Corleone Gunner on, on a remix, put P3 on one, put motherfucking KD on this motherfucker, put Baby Sosa on this motherfucker, put motherfucking Young Sequel on this motherfucker, put... YSR Grams, Crispy Life Kid, fucking Dale's Music, just put a whole bunch of just Flint artists on this motherfucker and just keep remixing it until one of the remixes blow up. If not, all of them gonna blow up because the more artists on it from Flint, the more different fan bases because everybody in the city got a different fan base. Twice fan base is different from P3 fan base. P3 fan base is different from fucking... I don't know. Louis Tones. Louis Tone fan base is different than motherfucking Veli Beretta. Veli Beretta fan base is different than than YSR Grams. So adding everybody from the 810, no matter what part they from, I feel like this is just gonna make this song a bigger song for the city and more people gonna listen to it. Because everybody gonna have somebody on the song 
that's from they part of town that's gonna make them fuck with the song. Like a nigga might be like, dang, my homeboy on this song, so I'ma listen to it. Or dang, my homegirl, if you get a female flint rapper, my homegirl on this song, I'ma go listen to it. So that's just my opinion, man. Y'all go tap in with Savage Life Tank. Real street music, aka real flint music.